Fifine have sent me over the Amplagame A8 USB microphone to test. I was a bit dubious about doing this as straying from the channel niche is rarely worthwhile nor is testing relatively unknown products. As a small channel I still rely on the product popularity to drive views. That said I appreciate Fifine reaching out and asking me to do a review and have an idea for a way to test this as a non-microphone expert or enthusiast. I've been using the Toner TC30 as my voiceover and type and test microphone since I saw a review about it a few years ago. You can get clean audio straight out of it which requires little more than the mastering for vocals effect in Adobe Audition and the results are good enough that I've not felt the need to upgrade it as of yet. Both microphones sit in the sub $50 category, both are USB plug and play and they have enough differences to draw some interesting comparisons and give you some food for thought if you are torn between the two of them. The Fifine Amplagame A8 is a USB plug and play condenser microphone with controllable RGB, audio output jack, input volume control and a mute button. It comes with a stand and shock mount detachable pop filter, a second clamp to allow connection to a boom or microphone stand, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. The Toner TC30 I have is a few years old with a newer version now on the market. It's also a USB plug and play condenser microphone. It comes with its own tripod and shock mount, detachable pop filter, can be unscrewed from its tripod to allow connection to a boom or microphone stand and has a USB-A to USB-C cable. The toner does not come with any of the other features found in the Fifine Amplagame A8. It doesn't have the controllable RGB, audio out jack, input volume control or mute button. All of these features being very useful for live streaming, especially gaming streams. For me, however, while I appreciate the additional features that the Fifine has to offer, the only feature of any interest to me is the audio quality straight out of microphone and the audio quality achievable with less than five minutes of work in post. So let's compare these. This is the sound straight out of the Fifine microphone without anything done in post on its own stand, recording in stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, at 20% volume on the input volume knob on the microphone itself. I'm using Adobe Audition to record this audio. How does it sound? This is the Fifine with all the same Adobe Audition settings, that is recording in stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, at 50% volume now on the input volume knob. How does it sound this time? I hope a bit louder. This is the Fifine with all the same Adobe Audition settings, straight out of microphone with the volume increased to 75%. So the recording settings, just to record a bit more sound, I'm recording in stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, at 75% volume on the input volume knob. How does it sound? I hope a bit louder again. And now this is the Fifine with all the same Adobe Audition settings with the volume increased to 100%. So that's stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, the volume at 100% on the input volume knob on the microphone. How does it sound now? A bit louder again, I would hope. So for comparison to the Fifine, this is the toner recording stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, and there's no input volume adjustment on this one. So this one is just straight out of microphone with nothing adjusted in post in Adobe Audition, the same as all of the recordings so far. So this is the Fifine once again with the input control volume at 100% in stereo mode at 96,000 hertz, 32 bit at 100% volume on that input volume knob again. So this is for comparison to the toner. So just to confirm the difference in audio input volume, I ran the same test into a free screen recording software I use called Freecam. I got the same results as can be heard here. The microphone audio input level is set to 100%. I've set the volume level in the software package itself to 100%. And you can hear that this Fifine microphone is still recording audio very quiet into my computer um, via the USB-C cable. I've used the same USB-C cable for both sets of testing as well. So I'm not quite sure why the toner is so loud compared to the Fifine. So this is the Fifine with 100% input volume and I've done those same Adobe Audition settings. So I've got stereo mode 96,000 hertz, 32 bit. We're at 100% input volume again. 
only this time I've adjusted the audio levels right up to the to the same level as the toner. So for comparison to the Fifine, this is the toner recording stereo mode, 96,000 hertz, 32 bit, and there's no input volume adjustment on this one. So this one is just straight out of microphone with nothing adjusted in post in Adobe Audition. And now this is the toner edited in post. So all as I've done is I've adjusted the volumes to, to level the volumes between the two microphones. And then I've added the mastering for vocals filter in Adobe Audition to both. So this sounds now is the toner tc30 with the audio levels adjusted and the mastering for vocals filter added in adobe audition so this is the Fifine with 100% input volume and I've done those same Adobe Audition settings. So I've got stereo mode 96,000 hertz, 32 bit. We're at 100% input volume again. Only this time I've adjusted the audio levels right up to the, to the same level as the toner and I've added the mastering for vocals filter in Adobe Audition. So this is what my sort of post edited sound is like out of this microphone. Um, to give you a slightly longer comparison comparison obviously the first half of the voiceover before I started testing just now was done with the toner TC30 and then the remainder of the voiceover is going to be done with the fee fine with all of the post editing done so my kind of final version of what I can get out of this microphone with the amount of effort that I'm willing to put in but that concludes the comparison testing between the two microphones as I said before, I'm only really interested in the audio quality with minimal work in post. Even though the Fifine has more features, the only winner for me is the one which sounds the best. I've used the Toner TC30 for lots of videos with no issues at all, both voicing over and recording keyboard sounds. I just record, adjust volume and apply the mastering for vocals filter, all in Adobe Audition. After this, I may need to adjust the audio level of the entire channel in Premiere Pro to balance it against the other audio channels in that video. Given the toner is working for me, I've not spent any time trying to get better results from the Fifine in post. As cool as the additional features on the Fifine are, they don't make any difference to me. For a gaming streamer, however, you may get better results than me by spending more time working on it in post. Given the toner is working for me, I've not spent any time trying to get better results from the Fifine in post. As cool as the additional features on the Fifine are, they don't make any difference to me. For a gaming streamer, however, you may get better results than me by spending more time working on it in post and the audio input level rgb and mute will be super useful for you i hope you found this useful if so please like and subscribe to see my future videos